This is the Lift Adventure in Ljubljana in Slovenia. Let's start off by talking about the difference between absolute and accelerated floor position. On a lift with absolute floor position, the indicator shows the exact position of the lift at all times. The indicator changes over to showing the next floor when the lift reaches halfway between floors. When a lift with accelerated floor position, the indicator changes to showing the next floor at the point of deacceleration. So, on a very slow lift, a lift with absolute floor position, the indicator would change before accelerated. But, it's on fast lifts where the difference matters, because on a fast lift, an accelerated indicator changes before absolute. And this is because the accelerated indicator is changing at the point of deacceleration, and the lift might start slowing down several floors away before the floor is deaccelerating to. This means that when the lift starts slowing down, you can look at the indicator, and the indicator will tell you what floor the lift is deaccelerating to. When a fast lift of absolute position is very annoying, because when the lift starts slowing down, you look at the indicator, but the indicator is showing you where the lift actually is in the shaft, which is still multiple floors away, meaning you have to keep looking at the indicator until the lift slowed right down to a floor, until you finally find out what floor is deaccelerating to. So accelerated is better than absolute. But on a lift with cone LC logic, the indicator shows the accelerated position plus one. In other words, the indicator does not change at a point where the lift starts slowing down, but the indicator is showing you the floor at the next point of deacceleration that the lift is going to reach. In other words, as soon as the lift starts moving from the floor, before it's even released the brake, the indicator has already changed over to showing you the next floor. But in this tower in Slovenia, this is the first time in the years I've been filming lifts I've ever come across a cone eco disc of LC logic and rather than showing the accelerated plus one position it's showing the absolute position I've never come across this before let's ride it So this is actually showing absolute floor position. Never before for a cone. And minus two. Yeah, minus one. So I'm slowing down, but it's still showing minus one. That is not normal for a cone. And let's now surf it. Let's now go along to the main shopping centre in Ljubljana. And the lift here is a Schindler for Eurolift which is unsafe to stand on top. This is the version I've nicknamed the Schindler 4400. This lift actually runs very efficiently and is quite good for the three half floors that it serves. So now go out of this shopping centre and we go to the nearby bigger and more posh shopping centre. First lift here is a Schindler Hydraulic with Myconic Logic. Sadly though it does not feature Hydraware. Let's take 
take a look around this posh shopping centre. This is the only posh European style shopping centre in the whole of Ljubljana. And along to see the lifts which are some nice Schindler 5500s. Schindler 5500 is one of the few off the shelf lifts that is actually any good. It's got pre-doors, intelligent levelling, intelligent overrun and pre-start. Some weird light effects at the back here. Let's see. Let's hope it'll do it as it goes past. Not quite sure what it's about. Is it lights up as the lift goes up? <laughs> Now we go to the lifts in Primark, which are some more Schindler 5500s. And now to the car park lifts, which are some Schindler D series lifts with Schindler Maconic. Schindler. Oh, a nice one as well. Got Schindler D series. Blank floor three. And it is a full Mercotic classic. This is really good. Very nice. And now we go to the Radisson. This building looks really nice. Such a shame that the lifts are a load of crap. Boring Otis Gen 2s. Yeah. Two screens. Weird ceiling. But other than that, it's a crappy Otis. Such a nice looking building on the outside. You get inside and you get this absolute crack. That's boring. It showed absolute precision rather than accelerated as well, as unusual for Gen 2. That's oh, glass. Hmm, that view would be better on top of the lift, won't it, Mr. Crucifix? Looking back at its footage, I should have served this glass lift in the daytime. Now we go to the poshest hotel in Ljubljana. This hotel has got some cone eco discs.
the next posh hotel. This one's got some fist and cup lifts. In this lift, most of the floors are locked, but I realised there's a sneaky way of getting to the locked floors, which is JU mode. This music is fucking shit. I say get to a lock floor, some floors are locked. Jay, you go with it, you get to a lock floor. Now we go into a tower block. This tower block is very interesting. It's got some interesting glass lift shafts with some older style lifts. Sadly, these lifts have been modernised. This tower block is actually in very good condition and has quite a lot of features to it. Features that would have been vandalised if this was in England. Let's ride the lifts. And now we go along to the funicular. This funicular is very posh looking. A nice glass funicular going up to the castle. <laughs> T'as fait quoi des gros points de vue Tu as déjà compris Tu as déposé one thing disappointing about the funicular is the crap levelling. Sadly, out of all of the funiculars I've ever visited, I've only once come across a funicular with intelligent levelling, which is the Hotel Funicular in Prague. I'll put a link to it in the description. <laughs> So at the top of the funicular is the castle, along to the main castle lift, which is a Schindler 5400. And there's also an Arona lift in the castle. The middle floor that it serves is locked, but this lift has got a cancel call button. You press the button to cancel a call and the lift then stops at the next floor, meaning you can use this to get to the secret floor. The cancel's it, what? The cancel's it. So cool. Open. No way. Very weird. Now we go along to the next lift. Wow, trap 
you stand there? You stand there? Look, I stand there. I've got buttons over there. Bin. Oh, that door's got the sensor. <laughs> I don't know the chat, then. Fucking hell, that's a loud alarm. And now we go to a modern tower, which is tall enough to have Schindler 5500s, but sadly they cheapened out and installed Schindler 3300 Plus. Oh no! Now we go to a slightly grotty glass lift. Now we go to the next lift, which is a little hydraulic lift. Well, mine this one's locked. And as it's the lowest floor, I can't surf down there. Let's have a second person with me. Looks like I can't go down there then. Oh, actually I can. The only basic indicator goes out when it's not the floor. It's like an old style system. <laughs> One. And then put in the miners. Ooh. I was through there. That is the secure way. Like, that is how you defeat me. Well done building for successfully defeating me. Let's surf it. Oh, full speed. Full speed inspection. Fence? This made for fence. It's bypassed. And now to IKEA. And while IKEA is well known in England for having some very interesting lifts, over here, disappointingly, it's got crap generic. to a Lidl store. Considering that Lidl is a discount supermarket and supermarkets are well known for having crap lifts, they've actually gone for Schindler 5500. Considering it only goes between two floors and most places would cheap it out and put a crap 3300 in this sort of scenario, it's actually really nice that Lidl have gone for 5500 instead. <laughs> Now we go to the next tower block. The lifts here have been horribly replaced. It's boring.
And finally, whilst looking around Ljubljana, I found a bunker. I wasn't expecting to find a bunker here. I wasn't even looking for bunkers. I just stumbled across this. Let's explore it.